this video will show you one example how to connect active front end to the battery. System example, so we have a battery, drive and the charging comes from the grid side. So basically we need to match the voltage to the battery in the DC link before we can close the DC breaker. Here is our hill model. We have a voltage source here, for example battery and breaker for the battery. Here is our charging circuit also from voltage source. Drive, LCL filter, D7 measurements and grid simulator. Here we can see that we have a battery voltage 750. At the moment we have no voltage on DC. Here we can see the charge and MCP status. And here we can control the battery DC breaker. Let's start the drive. DC charging. MCP close. And start. So now we have 594, so 110% voltage on DC link. Here the PLC is checking the battery voltage, calculated it as a percentage and sent this as a reference to the drive. And then both have same voltage. There might be some small differences in the voltage, so good to put a little bit drooping there. Now that the voltage is matching, we can close the battery DC breaker. We can see that small current change there. After that, we can activate the PIC control. Now it will control the DC current. We can see it's zero. And let's give reference. 50. And it will control the DC link voltage. So that the DC link current is 50%. Here we can see that we have a kind of overshoot and relatively slow response. So let's look at the just the current value and let's make step back to zero hmm. let's increase kb to 150 and let's see takes a little bit time to stabilize let's drop 250 millisecond the I part back to zero and a 50. Yes, looks much nicer now. Here we can see the PID output. So it will give high boost to the DC link reference and then stabilize when the current is reached. And the same thing to other direction. 